I have here a well under one year old PS5 DualSense controller. The controller is registering that the left thumbstick is pushed to the left even when it's not being touched. And it really doesn't have that many hours of use on it to have failed. Going to take it apart and see what's going on. Getting this black trim piece off first. Have to pry up from the edges, popping it loose. The R1 and L1 buttons have a clip on each side that holds them in place. The buttons just pop off with a little effort. Four screws have to be removed. One each under the R1 and L1 buttons. Then one in each handle that was hidden under the plastic trim. Then the two halves must be pried apart. The clips at the front near the buttons definitely seem to be the hardest ones to separate. First I'll remove the battery. There are numerous flat flexible cables, FFCs, that have to be removed. One very nice thing about these FFCs, the stiffeners on the end of the cables are very rigid, making it very easy to get hold of them. A very nice touch by the way. These two small FFCs are connected to the microphones one of which is attached to the battery tray. There is one screw that holds the battery tray and the main PC board. After the battery tray is removed, then can get to the other three FFCs, one each for the left and right trigger switches, and then one here at the front for the touchpad. After the FFCs are removed, can unsorter the wires to the haptic motors. The wires are really delicate and I don't want to break them when working on the PC board. Plastic tabs on each side of the PC board hold it in place, so just push them a bit to release the board. I'm pulling the knobs off of both joysticks, but I'm only going to remove the left one from the PC board. I'm putting some fresh solder on all the pins, maybe help a bit with the removal. Going to use a vacuum desoldering tool to unsolder the joystick pins. I would say it's taking more heat to remove the solder on this PS5 controller than on the PS4 ones I have done. Definitely more difficult. I think without vacuum desoldering and or hot air it would be extremely difficult to remove these joysticks without damaging the PC board. If the needed tools aren't available, one option would be to use a small pair of side cutters. Cut all the leads from the joystick as close to the joystick as possible. Then remove one pin at a time from the PC board, using solder wick to clean the solder out of the holes. It is tedious, but can be done. The pins that connect to the ground plane are definitely more difficult than the pins on the PS4 controller. And this one potentiometer pin just doesn't want to let go. Well, gotten this far without tearing up the PC board, so should be smooth sailing from here on. Okay, let's see what we have here. These are made by Alps, Seems Sony is using the same manufacturers for the PS5 joystick parts as the PS4, Alps and Favor Union. Let's pull the potentiometers off and see what we have. Wipe them clean. I did try a cleaner on them with no luck. That looks like a problem right there. Some of the center contact material is missing. 
that area should take less wear than the outer contact material. Maybe a defective resistor element or a wiper that had rough edges on it? Looks like it might be a pretty rare failure. At least I hope so. Now this is where the PS5 and PS4 joysticks differ. These Alps made potentiometers look like they have a value of about 2.1K. No value printed on them, so I can't say for sure. The Favor Union ones I'm going to replace it with have a 2.3K value, and it's printed on the potentiometer. Potentiometers that go in the PS4 joysticks are 10K, at least all the ones I have seen, which is not that many to be fair. While mechanically the same, the potentiometer values are different, and I expect Sony had a reason to lower the value. A reason other than to make life difficult. As for getting the right replacement parts, the first PS5 joystick replacements I ordered came from Amazon. The ad didn't give the value of the potentiometers, just that they were for the PS5 DualSense controllers. They were not. They had 10K pots on them. In fact, they were Alps brand and what I'd used in PS4 controllers. So I ended up ordering the joysticks from a place in Hong Kong. K-A-S-Y-N-P-A-R-T-S dot com. Now with the cheap shipping, it took a month to get the parts. But at a little over a dollar joystick, I think it was worth the wait. And they look like the OEM Favor Union parts with 2K3 on the pots, just what I was looking for. So if you're ordering replacement joysticks, make sure the ad lists the potentiometer value. Sorter out of all the holes? Should be easy from here on. The most important point here is to make sure the new joystick is fully seated. Sure don't want to desorter this thing again. So I'll sorter two of the mounting pins and then double check, making sure the joystick is in place. Once I'm sure it's in place, I'll sort of the rest of the pins. And then clean a bit of the flux residue off the board. It may be no clean, but it looks better cleaned off. Now for reassembly. The knobs go back on the joysticks. Then start putting some of the FFCs back in place. I really do like these. They are some of the easiest FFCs I've dealt with. Good job, Sony. Then I soldered the haptic motor wires back in place. Then the battery tray goes on, and with it the last little FFC. Double check all the buttons, make sure they all feel normal. Then install the battery. Now the case goes back together. I actually think it's easier to take apart the PS5 controllers than the PS4 controllers. A couple of the FFC cables in the PS4 controllers are a real pain to deal with. It's kind of a disappointment that a controller that's not that old would have a joystick failure. But maybe it's not that common of a problem. At the time I was looking for the PS5 replacement joysticks, they were kind of hard to find. I think there were two listings I saw on Amazon. I tried one, which didn't work out so well. So I end up having to order them from Hong Kong. All tested and working good. Nice when it works out that way. Thank you for watching.